Hey guys, it's Lauren. I thought I'd just pop in today and talk about mixed media backgrounds. Now, while I'm talking about mixed media backgrounds, you're going to see me make a background using the beautiful Lindy Stamp Gang Magicals that are in the last probably six months of the Hip Kit Club have been the feature in our colour kits. So I thought I'd just make a background here and talk about mixed media, mixed media backgrounds and how to create custom backgrounds to that match your photos and just allow you that freedom of creative play. A lot of people get very nervous about mixed media and I know that was me not long ago and they they don't want they don't want to try it. All these beautiful products are on the market and they don't they they just think it's it's not going to turn out the way Lauren does it or the way Missy does it or the way Amanda does it or any any anyone. They just think it's not going to work out that way so they're not going to give it a try. But I'm here today to chat with you and to encourage you to give it a try. Now, playing around with mixed media, you... you you, if you are a perfectionist and you want that droplet to land in the exact spot that you want it to drop in, it's more than likely not going to happen. That was the little bit of an uncomfortable thing for me when I started. And then I had to kind of sit with that discomfort a bit whilst I, I really wanted to explore this. And all of a sudden, those little droplets that aren't falling in the exact right spot or that colour that just didn't blend as well as I had hoped it would blend didn't tend to matter as much anymore. And the layouts come together and I've had a really great time just playing with creativity. So in this background, I thought I'd have a little bit of a chat with you because there's one, when dealing with mixed media, putting a few splatters of shimmers on or a few splatters of colour shine on at the end of a layout is very different to what I'm doing here. So I thought I'd give you my tips and tricks of using sprays, powders, and other forms of colour medium to creating background like this one with depth. So as you can see, I've been playing around and you're getting lots of layers being built on top of on top of each other, which kind of creates depth into the background. Now the trick is with that. Um, is the drying off. Well, firstly, I've started with a uh, mixed media paper, uh, which is the basil marshmallow, which is what I'm using. I've Because I knew that I'd be using lots of medium on top and adding lots of water, I did put a thin layer of clear gesso to start, and that keeps the product on top of the page as opposed to soaking through. Now, sometimes when you're doing even lots of applying lots of liquid even the gesso starts to struggle so one way of of helping your medium and creating depth is to drying off between each layer so as you can see here I've got that heat gun it's almost in one hand and the paintbrush in another and I'm drying off whilst I'm applying my different colours. That also helps them not to blend as much because if all these colours kind of blended together I get a big brown mess of mud and what that's what I didn't want to achieve. I wanted the colours to be true to themselves. They can blend a little like the pink and the yellow can turn into a bit of an orange and, and things like that but getting that brown colour is definitely not what I want and I definitely do not want to hear that. So that's my trick. Be brave, have a go, try not to worry about whether that splatter is going to land in the right place or the wrong place and have fun tr and try drying off between layers to create an effect like that. As you can see, I've created a beautiful background there that just by sitting a cut file on top, I know that I'll be able to create a layout and those beautiful colours in those beautiful products that I've played with there are going to shine through. Any questions, put them in the comments below. I'd love to chat with you about mixed media. I'd love to get your tips and tricks and thoughts. So let me know in the comments. Take care guys. Bye.